I think part of being a, um, a leader, part of having um, value that other people don't appreciate is you're going to do a lot of good things for people. You might give, 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 but you don't get a lot of back for giving. And sometimes you're going to expect that, okay, if I give this, what do I get out of this? I might get a friendship out of this, or I might get a good relationship out of this or, or something. But oftentimes it doesn't reciprocate how you want to, because a lot of people are takers. No matter what you give, no matter what you do for them, they take, but most people want something for nothing. So when you give it to them, they got it, but it takes more effort to give back after someone has given something to you. So I think we live in a world now where people are like, give me this just out of the kindness of your heart and nothing should be required from me. So you're going to often find yourself in times where you're like, okay, you're going to be stuck between this, 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 this space between being a nice person all the time and being taken advantage of for being nice. But on the other hand, you're bitter about what you've done and what you've not received. And now people just look at you as like, oh, he's bitter. Oh, why is he acting like that? Why does he have an attitude? Or why is he acting like this? Or why does he seem like he's having this vibe? Because now you've been bitter. So there's just a, a, a balance, but you just have to accept the fact that <clears throat> be good even though or even when most of the time it might not result in it coming back to you. Because how can you sit here and evaluate every single person and go, I think this person won't give me anything back. Or oh, I think this person is good. Or I think that like, you never know. So you might as well just be kind, be respectful, try to give value and help other people. But don't expect them to give back. I would say most of the time, I would just say have low expectations of it. Have low expectations of you helping somebody up and them just totally forgetting that you what what you've done or you what you helped them with. Because most people are most people they'll be if you're up, most people will be down and they're looking for a hand up, but as soon as you you grab down and you pull them up they take off running into the sunset. Like they, they just totally use you as just a hand up to get to where they're going. They had a secret agenda of what they wanted to do. And it wasn't necessarily you in the picture. You just temp temporarily were here for the help, the, the leg up to get to where they were going. But after they get to where they were going or they what they wanted, you don't receive no calls anymore, no messages. So, hey, how's things going? Do, 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 do. Like, if you try to call them just to see, just to check up on them, they don't answer your calls no more. Like, they got what they wanted out of that situation. You know what I'm saying? It's just, <clears throat> and it's unfortunate. You just have to understand that. I wouldn't say don't be bitter and be like, just F everybody. I'm not going to help anybody. Anybody comes to me for help. I'm just not going to help them because I don't think that's good energy. But, um, you know, what I'll say, I would say, teach people what you know, but don't teach people everything you know. Don't teach them everything. Why do they deserve everything that you know? Were they there reading what you, reading the books, learning the education they're learning? Were they there sitting in front of the computer, taking the courses that you were taking? Were they there going out and talking to the people that you wanted to be a uh, mentor you in, in learning? No. So they don't deserve it. 
And this is not me being bitter. This is just simply saying, okay, give them the base knowledge. If you know something like, okay, let's just say you know something about this particular subject and they come to you, they, 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 they need help with learning something. Yeah, give them the base knowledge, but don't give them so much where you're just not needed. Always be needed in this situation, no matter what. And most of the time, if you give somebody every single thing, they and, and you give them all the information, one of two things happen. They're lazy and don't do anything with it. And you just wasted your time and wasted your energy explaining to them step by step how to do something. Or two, they execute on it and just forget all about you. You just not even need it anymore. And that's just not coming from an insecure place. That's just like, okay, I gave you value. Okay, but what did I get out of that? I got nothing out of this. I gave up my time. So at least, and this is probably what I need to start doing and what other people start doing. If you have knowledge, if you have information, just start charging for it. So then at least you got some value up front. So even if they, you know, succeed, you you got value up front. You just didn't give them something for free because when things are given for free, they just either don't value you or don't value it enough to where they just don't even take take action on the information and you just waste your time. Or two, they just, um, shit, they just say, look, forget about you. I got it for free. So what, what value was it? You know what I'm saying? They didn't pay for it. So that's what I was saying on that subject matter. Just understand that. And these, again, these are just the realizations that I've come to in life. You know, I hope these these videos don't even get a lot of views. I just hope my son watches this someday and he takes something from what is in my head at a 23 year old when I'm like 40 or 50 years old. And this is the stuff I've been thinking about. Yeah, just just know as a leader, because you'll have these leadership qualities, you'll have you'll see you'll watch me. You just innately these naturally will just be in you. Right. I'm just saying when you have this, it's going to be different around your peers. It's going to be different if you have confidence, intelligence, assertiveness, and you have a big ego. They're dangerous and you're black. They're dangerous. So I just need you to know of how to how to move in these situations. You know. Speak vaguely. Oh, OK. You know, oh, how how I get into real estate? How do I do this? How do I do that? Or how I learn about credit? Nah, nah, nah. Well, yeah, you, I mean, you just do, do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that. Like, you know. But. Why do you waste your time taking everything out of it? Like. I don't know. I don't know. But main main point is just. Have balance between being bitter and being too nice to people. Because you could be too nice to people and people just take advantage of it. And then when you look back, and this is the thing, <clears throat> when you're when you overly give so much value to somebody, you bring more to the table than what they bring. And really, you don't really benefit much as much as they benefit from being around you. They tend when you tend to remind them of like what value you bring to the table, they tend to deflect by saying you threw you're throwing this in my face. They don't like to be reminded that you are the one bringing the most value to the table and they really don't bring anything. Because when you're actually conscious of this, it puts pressure on them to be something of value when they really they really want something for nothing. That's why people don't like stuff thrown in their face. It's not even that you're throwing it in their face. It's just saying, hey, you know, you're doing this, 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 these actions, but I what I'm really saying is I don't feel appreciated in this situation because of the value that I'm bringing to you. But they, oh, you're throwing it in my face. That's just manipulation one on one, because then you feel bad. You're like, oh, I'm throwing it, throwing it in his or her face, like da 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 da, and you know I shouldn't do that. I should just keep on giving and not pay attention to the value that's being brought to me, and you know just 
keep giving somebody something for nothing. Yeah, man. It'd be like this out here, man. It'd be like that out here.